Hello everyone, this is Lugnuts. In the previous episode, Industry Production and Station Ratings, I covered how industry production works. However, there are four special primary industries that have their own mechanics. They are the oil well, oil rig, and bank in the temperate climate, and the lumber mill in the subtropical climate. Let's start with the temperate oil wells, which are very important to know about. The oil wells never increase production. Again, they never increase production, so whatever production they currently have is only going to go down. Like other industries, they have a 4.5% chance of changing production each month, but whenever this occurs they can only decrease production, so the player can't influence their production at all. This behavior was included to match the original Transport Tycoon Deluxe. It only affects oil wells on temperate. Oil wells on subtropical and subarctic can increase production. I avoid servicing oil wells on temperate unless I have the temperate oil wells can increase new GRF or another new GRF that changes this behavior. Another quirk is that the game only constructs oil wells before 1950, so on temperate all oil wells will eventually disappear. On subtropical and subarctic they also stop spawning after 1950, but you can keep some alive with good service. Second is the oil rig. The oil rig's passenger production is limited to 144 or 128 passengers per month, depending on the length of the month. The oil production is unaffected by this restriction and can increase up to the standard 2,295 or 2,040 units of oil per month, where one unit is 1,000 liters. There are also some other quirks with the oil rig. First, they don't spawn immediately on new maps, so they only appear due to new construction. Oil rig construction only happens after 1960. They also have a company neutral station for boats and helicopters. This is the only place in the vanilla game where such a station exists and you can use the station to transfer cargo between companies, but this isn't really an intended mechanic as the company dropping off the cargo will never get paid. Third is the bank on temperate. The banks on temperate never change their production except due to month length, so you are stuck with whatever production they have. This also means that banks never close. Although valuables are the highest paying cargo, banks aren't a very good source of money because of their low production. Banks also exist on subarctic and subtropical, but there they only act as the destination of gold and diamonds and don't produce cargo. Finally, we have the lumber mill on subtropical. The lumber mill is a very special industry. The lumber mill is similar to the forest on temperate and subarctic in that it produces wood. Unlike those industries, however, it never spawns naturally and can only be funded by companies. The lumber mill physically chops down trees in the surrounding area to produce wood. Because of this, it can only be funded in the rainforest areas of the map. The amount of wood it produces is solely dependent on how many trees it chops down. A lumber mill tries to chop down trees four or five times a month. When it tries, it searches outwards in a spiral pattern in a 40 by 40 area which is huge as you can see by this area outlined by track. If it finds a tile with a fully grown tree, it will demolish the tile and output 45 tons of wood. So as long as there are a few trees around, it will easily reach the maximum 180 or 225 ton monthly production. Another unique aspect of the lumber mill is that, in the game code, it is specified as a processing industry, more commonly called a secondary industry, which puts it in the same category as factories, sawmills, oil refineries, etc. This means two big things. First, it follows the secondary industry closing behavior, which means as long as it has produced cargo in the last five years, it is automatically protected from closing, so lumber mills will basically never close. The second and more important thing is that you can actually fund lumber mills and choose their location even if primary industry construction is turned off in the game settings. Based on empirical testing, the game spawns about one tree per 75 tiles per month. So, if your settings allow multiple industries per town, you could fund four lumber mills all next to each other, and they should just about reach max production. That's 800 wood per month for free for 1.6 million pounds. Anyway, that concludes this video on special primary industries. Hopefully you learned something, I certainly did while researching this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.